Hi, my name is Matt. I'm 19 years old. I use he, him pronouns and I identify as a transgender man. Uh, <laughs> I grew up trans in Texas, which is definitely an experience in itself. Um, and I wanted to share my coming out experience uh, publicly because I think that the fact that I came from a conservative state, a conservative town, conservative region. I had uh, conservative Republican traditionalist parents, and I ended up with kind of a fairy tale ending to my story. So I think that that's not very much publicized. I think, unfortunately, we do hear a lot of really sad stories, and I want mine to be out there for the kids who think that maybe coming out to their conservative parents or to their you know, traditional family is going to be a lot harder, because it can be hard, but it can also turn out okay. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, <laughs> my coming out story, I actually came out on accident at first. Um, I was sitting in my room one day, and I was watching some YouTube videos, because that's how I learned about what being trans was, is I had a friend of mine show me um, YouTube videos, and I was watching Chase Ross, I think it was, and, you know, guy's shirtless, there's these pictures of, you know, him going from his transition from pre-T to on T and, you know, post-op, and my dad did, was, came in my room and he did that thing where parents do, where they kind of knock on the door, but they don't really wait for you to respond, he just walked in, and I got really freaked out because all the tabs I had open on my computer were trans guy things, that the video I was watching was a trans guy, and... I was worried that if he saw that, he was going to get like freaked out or he was going to ask me a lot of questions and I didn't want to answer any of them, so I just really quickly I didn't know what else to do, I didn't shut down any, I just shut my computer as fast as I could, I just freaked out. And he, he saw me for sure and he was like, what are you doing, you know, like, why can't you, I see what you were doing on the computer and, you know, when your teenager's on the computer and then freaks out, means they're probably not up to anything that they should be up to. So, you know, he was all like, I don't know why you can't show me, you know, you ought to be able to show me, I'm your dad. And so I would, he, uh, he like, kind of started coming at me and I tried to like deflect and I tried to, you know, argue with him about like, no, it's fine, don't worry. Da, da, da. And I just kind of got in this panic, you know, and I just, all of a sudden I had a lot of things going on in my brain at once and I just blurted out, I think I'm a guy. And he didn't, he was really confused. He was like, what do you mean? I said, I think I'm a guy. I think I'm transgender. I think I'm trans. I, I think I was born in the wrong body. I think I was, I think I'm a boy. And he just looks so confused. He, oh boy, he just kind of, he looked at me for a little bit and he wasn't really sure what to say. So he just walked out. <laughs> and then I remember he left the room. I remember like the next day, my mom, when I saw her, she said, you have an appointment with your therapist. <laughs> and I was actually really grateful that they had done that because I mean, I wouldn't have wanted them to, you know, try and talk to me or confront me about what I had just said uh, when I was, I had no intentions of having come out that soon. I did not think that I was ready to come out. I didn't really want to come out right then, but I sort of already had. So I went to the therapist and thankfully, because I had been seeing her for like a year or two at that point, you know, she understood where I was coming from. Um, this wasn't the first time, you know, she'd noticed, you know, I'm a masculine person, these things are, you know, here about my life. I, I'd come out once as, uh, with my sexuality to my parents, so it was a little different. We sat together and we kind of figured out what should we do, and, you know, I told her about how just one thing I really wanted is I wanted to get all these points across. There were certain things I wanted to say to my parents that I was afraid I wouldn't get to say because maybe they'd interrupt midpoint or they'd say, they'd interject something with, before I get the chance to move on to something else that's also really important. So she had me write out a, like a little script and a little letter basically is what it was. It was like um, just a piece of paper I had. I wrote down all the things I wanted to say. I wanted to tell them about, you know, how I figured this out, why I feel this way, what it means, just, and what I want to do and, you know, and I wrote it all out on a piece of paper. And I walked out to the living room. I sat my parents down and I told them I have a, I have a piece of paper here. It has a lot of things that I really want to say. I know it's gonna be really hard for you to sit here and listen to them, but please, if you will, just sit here and listen to them. And they did. They heard me out the entire time. And by the time I got to the end of the paper, I was crying, my mom was crying, my dad was crying, 
my sister was not a part of this, but my parents were, and they were just crying, and I was crying too. I was crying because I didn't realize in my letter how much I talked about just how much I was unhappy and how much I was so so full of self-hate and I remember trying basically I was describing my dysphoria to them I didn't know that's what it was but that's what I had done as I had told them about my dysphoria and how much I just felt like I was so unaligned with where I was physically and they did not understand that really at all they didn't really understand a single bit of it they just cried and they said we will try our best I mean they didn't really seem supportive, but they were they were willing to try. And I think that was the greatest thing I could have ever experienced. I was not shut down by my parents. I was not told no. I wasn't told, you don't understand, you're too young, you have no idea, gender's not something you can have a concept of. And I think that was probably one of the best things about my coming out, was that my parents didn't say no. They didn't say yes to anything. Um, but they just said that they'd try. And I think that that's something I would want any parent to do when a child comes out with their gender or with their sexuality. Just keep an open mind. Don't say no to anything because it's your child. And as much as you do know about them, they are their own person and they have their own life and their own identity and their own way of doing things that it's gonna be different from yours. So. Be open-minded and be willing to interact with your child. Ask them questions. Don't be aggressive about it. Don't be abrasive. Just ask questions. Because I think the fact that my parents wanted to ask me questions like, what does this mean? What do you want to do about this? I told them, it means I think I just was born in the wrong body. I think that there was something wrong. And I want to wear boys' clothes. I want to go by a boy's name. I want to be a boy. And... The fact that they asked me questions and the fact that they, even questions that they didn't want to ask me, they would ask other people. They'd go online and they found a support group for parents of trans people so that way they could find the support and find the answers that they needed. And I think that that was just amazing. Um, one of the hardest things was the first time I went to go buy boys clothes. My mom nearly broke down in tears just walking into the boys section, you know? <laughs> but this is the same woman who scheduled my tea appointment and who surprised me with top surgery. These are the people who have been my biggest supporters throughout my entire transition and they were bawling their eyes out when I told them. To any kid, I really do wanna say just don't worry because your parents love you more than you can possibly imagine. There's not a stronger bond or love in the world than between a parent and their child. Your parents might be confused. You're probably confused. Your parents might not understand. Your parents might have way too many questions. Your parents might have the most basic questions that you know can be answered with a simple Google search, you know? But just everybody, if you keep your open mind, you keep an open communication, so much of it goes better. Because my parents were willing to communicate to me, you know, my mom and my dad, they came across as they're very Republican, very, my dad was very religious and you know, he asked me, he's like, why do you think God made a mistake? He would ask me questions like that. He'd ask me, like, well, why does it matter if you wear boys' clothes or girls' clothes? Can't you just be happy the way you are? And, you know, a lot of those questions that we can find very abrasive were actually very common questions for me, not just from my parents, but from kids, kids that I meet at school, um, other adults, teachers. I'm in North Texas. There's not a lot of education about this for anybody unless you go on the Internet, you know, and there's people from other areas. So... Uh, I was able to really kind of learn how to talk to people who don't know anything about what it means to be trans and who don't know anything about the transgender community and sometimes didn't even know the difference between being gay and being trans. And part of that experience growing up around where I was, my parents were very concerned for my safety. There was always a concern that, you know, there might one day come a, a time when there was a hate crime and I was a victim of it. But... Thankfully, with the tools that I was given and the experience I had with my parents coming out, I learned how to try and have very calm and very open dialogues with people of different views. And it was the most amazing experience being able to just 
be so much more comfortable with myself now because as an adult now in college, I'm a freshman at my dream college in San Antonio. It's an amazing experience that I would have never been able to have without the support I got from my parents and without the tools that they gave me to you know, talk to people who have never met a trans person before, to talk to people who are against trans people, whatever that means. Um, it really was just a great experience because my parents never stopped trying. They never gave up on me. They never told me, you know what, this is, this is not right, this is wrong, this isn't you. We know who you are and we don't think that you're this person. And because they were able to avoid all of that, we became stronger, you know, between mother and son and father and son relationships. And I mean, even my sister eventually, when, you know, I came out to her one-on-one, -on -one, her and I, maybe it's because we got older, but we became much more civil with each other. We used to bicker and fight all the time, but now we're much like more calm. We love each other a lot. We talk a lot more. I think that because my family was so willing to learn, that's what made this so incredible. You can't, um, you can't shut out your child. You can't shut out this part of their life. If they come to you with this, it means it's prominent enough in their life that they want to speak to you. And for any kid out there who thinks that, you know, their family might be too conservative or their family won't accept them if they come out, something I always try to remember is that when I came out to my parents, and I've said this a couple other times, is I never asked them to say goodbye to their daughter. I just introduced them to their son. And I think if you can give your parents time to know that they aren't saying a goodbye, they're just saying hello to the kid that's always been there, then they'll come around. And trust me, parents will do anything for their kids because they love you. I hope this helps. I hope that maybe if you're thinking about coming out and you know the environment may not be the most accepting, that this gives you a little bit of strength and courage. And I wish you all the best of luck.